Hello beautifuls, welcome back to my Chanel and welcome to a brand new exclusive here on the Chanel, my loves. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Today we are going to be watching a show. Brace yourself, my loves, brace yourself from 2006. That's right, you heard Biscuit. 15 years before you got here. In fact, it's more than that. It is called Asbo Teen to Beauty Queen. Because of course it is. <laughs> I just don't know anymore. After we finished La Dette to Lady season one, I was like, oh my goodness, I need something in my life that's a little bit more... Why aren't you making it to the planet? I don't know, joie de vivre kind of drama. This almost feels like a potential predecessor or successor. I guess it would have been predecessor to that specific show. Thank you for the kisses, Biscuit. It's very nice of you. Thank you. Yes. Oh, this collar popping this way is going to bother me the entire time. For goodness sake. It's fashion. <laughs> God, Bob, don't look at me. So would you like to hear a little bit more about Asbo Teen to Beauty Queen? I am shocked and disgusted that this is happening. And before I delve into what it's about, I'm gonna say there seems to be a confusion or a confliction, a conflict of interest, yes, between titles of this show. In some places it's called Asbo Teen to Beauty Queen, and in others it's called Tearaway Teen to Beauty Queen. Oh, wow. scandalous. And I do wonder if maybe it's because in the US they don't have Asbos or anything like that. I don't think we have them in the UK anymore, but I'll tell you a little bit about that in a minute. Asbo Teen to Beauty Queen is a British television series, because of course it is, about nine teenagers from Manchester, that's Liverpool, <laughs> who were trained by Michelle Fryat, an American former beauty pageant contestant, to compete in the Miss Teen International 2006 beauty pageant. Oh my goodness, girls. Do you know what I'm gonna be able to yell at the top of my lungs? Why aren't you making it to the pageant? Why aren't you making it to the pageant? Each week, participants face a series of tasks designed to prepare them to compete in the pageant. The pageant, girls! And at the end of each episode, girls were eliminated from the series. So it aired in the UK on the 15th of November, 2006. Oh my goodness me, that is in fact 17 years to the day that I am filming this. So my loves, do you wanna know what an asbo is? No. So me and Rowley have this joke about like, oh, she's being an asbo. Have you got your asbo? Make sure you get your asbo. Asbo, A-S-B-O, stands for Anti-Social Behavioural Order. And it was generally issued to teenagers and like young people who were particularly problematic, shall we say, in their local communities. That can range anything from petty theft from shops all the way up to stealing cars and mugging people at knife point, which is what one of the local ASBO children, who was 12 years old when he got his ASBO, being the youngest person in the UK to get an ASBO, was doing in Brighton, and he actually grew up not that far away from where I lived, which was The Dip. So ASBOs aren't used anymore in the UK, and I think it's because eventually police started like dishing them out for any sort of like minor infaction or infarction. Do you say infarction? Infarction, darling. I'm calling the police. And then the local tearaway teenagers would actually start to wear them as badges of honor, being like, oh my God, don't talk to Michelle. She's got four asbos. Oh, biscuit. Yeah, I want an asbo. You can have an asbo if you like. You are quite a reactive little puppuccino, so you, yes. Asbo. And eventually police were issuing them so frequently that they lost all meaning whatsoever. So we don't use them anymore in the UK. You don't usually get an Asbo. At least I think that's right. I'm, I might have to put in a slide here that's like, no, actually, Luxaria. But anyways, my lovelies, I'm so excited to start this series because I did not watch this when it was airing on TV. I don't know what I was doing, but I certainly wasn't watching Asbo Teen to Beauty Queen. So my lovelies, make sure you get yourself a beverage. Today I'm on the pink monster energy because she's what? An Asbo Teen! I know it! <laughs> oh, quite the beauty queen today, actually. More like beautiful goth CEO who's not gonna put up with your shit, David. Have your resignation on my desk by Monday morning! Deranged. That was a lot, wasn't it, Biscuit? I'm sorry. You, you don't have to resign. Oh good, I've got a whole family to feed. I hope you're sitting down for this because I feel like it's going to be quite an expose into how we treated teenagers back in 2006. Pop your ochanga right into your little asbo hole and let's watch Asbo Teen to Beauty Queen, season one, episode one. 
Da, 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 da. Oh my god! These wholesome American beauties are vain to be crowned Miss Teen International. Right. Devoting themselves Is to she gonna make it to the and poised, polished perfection. Do you know, I've been looking for a reason to scream at the top of my lungs. Why aren't you going to make it to the pageant? For years since this one ended, and I'm so glad we're gonna see a pageant in this series, my loves. Pageant! Oh, isn't it bizarre? Oh look. Oh, rub your armpits. Stop it. These girls live on the mean streets of Manchester, the Asbo oh. capital of England. Between them, they've been cautioned, convicted and condemned. Oh, But in dear. six short weeks, one of these nine mischievous Mancunians will represent England in the USA, hoping to return home with the title Miss Teen International 2006. Wow. Miss Teen International 2006. She's got an Asbo, girls. These girls belong to a subculture in the UK known as Chav. I don't know if you have this in America. I don't know if we even have this in Europe. It's very like off brand sportswear. They don't really do sports. They often find themselves in quite a lot of trouble with the law. I've had my own run ins with chavs like this. I've been attacked by them. I have rocks thrown at me. I've been called names, all those sorts of things. So usually they're not associated with like a friendly group of people, should we say? No, quite often they're usually very angry, very upset, whether that's due to facing hardships whilst growing up. And sometimes also it's a case of like working class discrimination kind of causes these pockets of society that have very little funding or very little resources at their dispense and then Chav can sometimes grow out of that as like a negative reaction to the system that they are brought up in. She's educated. I'm not saying they're good people, I'm not saying they're bad people, I'm just trying to elucidate a little bit further onto the subculture of people that seem to be associated with problems. Expect style. Oh, dress up. Shoes are doing me. I don't expect grace. Do me, I do not give a but don't expect world peace. I must admit, I do love the insult. Go f yourself. Oh, it's so enjoyable. So enjoyable. She looks a bit like Victoria Beckham here. Go on stage, I will say it. You need to start it. Oh, I'm excited. We're going to see some drama, sis. If there's something the British are good for, it's drama. Right. Rachel. Laura. Pavia. Oh my God, what is this? Ellen. Nisha. Ashley. Who will be a Britain's next top cherry woman? Kerry. Sarah. Elena. Oh, the volume. Ow. Tearaway Teen to Beauty Queen. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. So online it's simply known as Asbo Teen to Beauty Queen, but we have literally a title here that says Tearaway Teen to Beauty Queen. So I wonder if maybe the title was changed for the American audience? You never know, do you really now? That was so loud for an intro. Oh, I'm so excited! <laughs> oh, America perhaps? In America, beauty pageants are big business. They are. Every year, thousands of girls compete to win states, national and international they titles. They also get lots of plastic not surgery. only to be crowned beauty queens, but to win prizes worth thousands of dollars. Or nothing at all. The most prestigious American pageant is the Miss Teen International Contest. Is that the most held prestigious? Held in Chicago, Illinois. Miss it's all about family values and squeaky clean feminine virtue. A beauty queen. Oh, beauty queen, like the whole beauty queen system being like squeaky clean feminine virtue is like, I mean, what are male beauty pageants? Bodybuilding, where they get naked on stage, oil each other up, and then go, uh, Is that tea? <laughs> I mean, I quite like it. <laughs> but still, the difference, hmm? Carry herself on the stage very elegantly and not provocative. Not provocative. It's in this extravaganza that one of the nine girls will be competing as Miss T in England International. Wow. Oh, here we go. Manchester girls, bleak. Nine Police. English roses have Dog. been plucked from Manchester. Right. Their world's no glamorous pageant, but it has taught them unique life skills. Robbing people, street robbery, getting high, assault, burglary, using abusive language in the streets, drinking and smoking, shoplifting. I think, like, robbing people and drinking and smoking are two completely different things. Yet in the UK, at one point, they were considered the same reason to get an ASBO. So, you know, that's why they became nothing, because an ASBO was like, Well, I've got seven of them for being a naughty child. Naughty mummy. 
and criminal damage. Criminal damage. Assault. Turning this blighted bunch into beauty queens will be a thorny problem. Blighted bunch? Blighted bunch? Now, I think I'm going to have some opinions during this season that are particularly... They might come across as harsh, maybe? A little bit? I don't know. While I understand that your upbringing can absolutely have an effect on the way you view the world, and it can also bring a lot of anger and a lot of generational trauma through with that, I do also believe you are still the arbiter of your own future and you don't have to rob people. So I am gonna probably have some opinions that might be difficult to digest and you're more than welcome to disagree with me here in the comments, but let's try and keep it discourse rather than attacky because like I don't like being mugged. So I think I can say that that's a bad person that wants to mug someone, you know what I mean? And have my dam uh, well, criminal damage to the rescue to me. is a real life former American beauty Ooh, she's queen. She's in the Illuminati. This is International 2003 is Mrs. Nevada Michelle Bryant. Oh. She's accepted the challenge of creating. I'm sorry, is she meant to be a teenager? <laughs> Mrs. International. Oh, Mrs. Mrs. International. No, not. I was going to say teenage. I think she lied on her driver's license. She's accepted the challenge of creating an English pageant contender in six short weeks. Six weeks. As a pageant veteran herself. She knows what that takes. Yes. We'll find that a lot of the girls who are going to be at Miss Teen International have been preparing for it for, for months, if not years. Yes. But I feel a lot oh, of Oh, she's got a work cut out for her, hasn't she? Like, just to educate the girls. To Do you know, I absolutely love those, like, are they called French braids? Where they, oh, how do I operate my head? <laughs> where they come from, like, here, down. No, are they Dutch braids? Because they sit on top of the head. I wish I could do them. I love them so much. They're such a good, like, protective hairstyle. They look sporty. They look nice. Oh, she can't, her style here kind of reminds me a little bit of Lady Sovereign. I wake up late every morning. Man, just calling. I'm still yawning. Get up, wake up, hair and makeup. Now, Lady Sovereign was kind of like the most famous chav in the UK at one point. Now she's a lesbian. Open their eyes to um, share with them. Oh, look at that Pamela what Anderson they can beat. achieve and who they can become and really help them in a process of self-discovery and self-growth. The nine English contenders will face challenges designed by Michelle to reduce them to just three finalists. Oh! They'll fly to Chicago, where one of them will be crowned Miss Teen England International and compete in the lucrative Miss Teen International pageant. Oh, I wonder what they This been. girl will face three rounds based on presentation, including sportswear, evening wear, and fun fashion. She'll also oh. compete in a public speaking round where she'll advocate... Oh, bump it, girl. Bump it up with Bump It. Get that salon style look fast and easy. A charitable cause close to her heart. Okay. I will need to see girls that, that want to go forward. And if one lacks a little bit of motivation, that could be, that could be what takes her out of the competition. I'm just going to say something here. I'm just going to say, I feel like these girls have no interest in the American dream. Although maybe they had to apply to go on this show. I don't know if someone nominated them. I guess maybe we'll find out throughout this series. These girls are tough. They're fighters. They're rough around the edges. Sometimes a bit of a problem. <laughs> Dear, I think this pageant woman's gonna have quite a culture shock. Only one will make it to the pageant girls. But at the moment, it's still all to play for. Our nine aspiring beauty queens are about to meet Michelle for the first time. So they have committed criminal Hi, behavior, girls. which is why they're here. Hi, I'm Michelle, and I will be your mentor over the next six weeks. And it's my job to equip you and train you and give you the tools that you will need to do well at Miss Teen International. Okay. Do any of you know anything at all about beauty pageants? Had any, any experience with them at all? Okay. What I'm gonna do now is just kind of show you a clip from Miss Teen International just to give you a little taste right. of what pageant week is like, okay? Pageant week. Chicago became home to three of America's da Hail Jesus! <laughs> Oh. Yeah, we we absolutely do not have a pageant culture here in the UK. We just don't. I think our equivalent of, to like a beauty pageant is like the girls when they're getting ready to go out. That's like the same effort they put into a beauty pageant, let's be honest. Look at that, what's that? Hot pink matrix. I wonder if I see any of these brands I remember, like shot. 
Ooh. We okay, wielded. Okay, girls. Anybody darting for the door? What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys all look a little scared. The audio really mastering in this show is terrible, so I'm going to be going up and down and up and down with volume, just so you know. Fun, I promise. Miss Teen International's image is incredibly important because she's a role model to thousands of girls. So this week's challenge is to look like a beauty queen. Okay. Over the next few days, we're going to teach you how to accomplish this look. And then at the end of the week, we will pick this week's Teen beauty queen. It's just hit me. Where are they filming? Are they in like a community center? Overhead lighting. Everyone looks a bit like beige, sickly yellow ochre beige. Serve it up, bitch. Oh dear. Unfortunately, one of you will be asked to go home. Oh, well, like right. An elimination first episode. Look in your closet and pick out what makes you feel the most glamorous and come back in the morning and you're gonna be all gla like glam, glam, as much as you know how to glam. I've only got tracksuits. Right, that's all you've got? Well then, pick your most glamorous tracksuit then. I know it's a bit daunting, and I know it's a completely unknown world for you, but you know what, just, just grab on to the opportunity to learn something new. The girl's first- Actually, like, British children could be a bit feral sometimes. <laughs> I do feel like she approached that in a really like positive, encouraging way. Like she didn't just say, oh my God, why have you only got tracksuit? She was like, well then pick out the one that makes you feel the most beautiful. I love that. That's such a good way of not crushing someone's dreams, <laughs> but actually being like, well, you can shift the dream to fit you. I like that. That's actually, okay. Are we having a heartwarming tracksuit moment here on the Chanel? Shall I wear a tracksuit the next time we film this so I can be like, oh my God, me too. Challenges to glam up. Tomorrow, Michelle will begin their beauty accent? queen training glam in earnest because in six weeks, one of these girls must represent her country as the first ever Miss Teen England International. Ooh. I thought, don't be afraid because they all looked so... But I wonder how old they are. At the yeah. side of me, that I really wanted to to comfort them and reassure them and and let them know, you know, it's okay. I'm a person just like you because they all looked a little a little scared at the whole I'm prospect. Surprised. I think. Oh, she loves the banana powder. Uh, she was a tall, lanky model. I was just baffled. I was thinking. Rats. I can't do this. I think it'll be hard <laughs> working on me anyway. Was that the dancing that I did look stupid? It was that weird dancing on stage. Look at that stage, wallpaper. These girls have no concept. They were speaking so quietly then. If you didn't catch that, they are frightened of the dance choreography, which, to be honest, same. Of what being in a pageant oh. consists of. Pageant! And um, it's one thing to learn how to do your hair and learn how to do your makeup. It's another thing to, to learn how to speak and learn how to present yourself and to embrace a cause that you feel passionate about. Yeah. I think this is going to be really difficult. I think everyone at some point in their life wants to feel a little bit more than what they already are, if that makes sense. I don't think it would be right of anyone to be like, well, no one ever feels like that because elegance, maybe it's not like elegance in this sort of similar way. But to me, like there have been times in my life where I want to be the most poised I can possibly be. And I feel like that's a universal experience. Like everyone does love a little bit of the fancier thing. Whatever the fancier thing is to you, everyone, everyone loves a little bit of that occasionally, don't they? Nine prospective beauty queens have been challenged to present their most glamorous oh outfits. Right. If they want to compete in the USA for the title of Miss Teen International, then success in this challenge is I love crucial. Her hair. She's so good at that. The girl's mentor, former American beauty queen Michelle Fryatt, is already weighing their potential. Oh, she's driving in well, the car. I've seen all the girls. I, I am a bit nervous because we need to mold them into. I can't get over this Total. makeup she's wearing. It's so Pamela Anderson. Look at those skinny eyebrows, the unblended black eyeliner underneath the eye, probably a spice lip liner with Mac Myth lipstick. Just bonkers. A model in a very short period of time. Each one has a challenge to overcome. Lamination. It's not like there's one in the group that's like, okay, right, let's go on down the road and do this. Each one has their own individual issue to tackle. I'm a little nervous about a couple of them that may have issues with alcohol or um, really vagrant behavior. You're the 
Vagrant While behavior. some of the other girls do have issues, Michelle's particularly concerned by the only girl with an asbo, the aptly the, named... The only girl with an asbo? Oh my god, and she's got the hair I like. Okay, what has she done? What has she, she has been naughty. It's probably actually not something to make fun of, actually. Let's listen. By the only girl with an asbo, the aptly named Laura Wilde. I think I've been arrested about ten times, just <gasps> mostly, mostly for, like... You know, like using abusive language in the streets, like public order and stuff like that. Um, assault and criminal damage. Oh, dickhead. Oh. Oh, I, I just go with. I mean, she's my daughter, and we still love her no matter what, even though we don't approve of what she's done or how she's gone about things. Unfortunately, I know there is a bit of an attitude sometimes from people who are outside of this situation to be like, well, why don't they just move her away from the problems? Like this, unfortunately, is usually a case of left behind in terms of these areas are very underdeveloped. There's no like reinvestment into infrastructure. There's no reinvestment into bringing the best possible opportunities to these areas. There's none of that. And um, unfortunately, a lot of the families find themselves without the means or the resources to move out of the area. I think if you were like a middle class family and you had like a child who was going down the wrong path, keeping off the straight and narrow or whatever, you could literally just be like, okay, we are removing you from this situation, uprooting the family and taking you elsewhere away from these negative influences. If of course they're not caused by the direct family anyway. Whereas I don't think these people have those resources. So unfortunately, I feel like it becomes very difficult sometimes when these parents see their children becoming more and more problematic and they can't really do anything to stop it. But also this isn't excusing that behavior. I do feel like bad behavior needs to be, you know, punished by the law. Once you're of age to be punished by the law because you can't just go around like destroying people's lives. You can't do that. So knocking on the door and we were going to court, I was always thinking to myself, I wish somebody would just take her away and give us a bit of space and oh, that's sad. a bit of peace. Did I say smoke? You go and bang me out, go for it. Cause you're so mad, you little Oh dear. <laughs> Hi, Michelle's also girlies. facing a trial with Rachel, and she's hoping the 18-year-old won't be facing any trials of her own. Oh, she's 18, so she's an adult. A couple of weeks ago, the burglary charge charges, two charges of that. But I got locked up twice in one in one week, so when I went caught, it made it look bad and that. So it was a bit out of proportion and that for me. She's like her skin, her eye shape, and her features are so. Gorgeous. She's won the genetic lottery, but I don't. I don't think you should burglarize people. Yeah. You ain't getting elected. Yo, watch some video now about these American. You know how the American girls are all. Oh, yeah, they think they're all that in it. Oh. Why was that? My face was just like at first, and it just went. Well, you know when you know when you yeah like these long dresses and that when where you have to work. Well, you know with the thing that yeah, goes across, yeah, around you like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah that will say Miss Raw Beach or something, and you have to walk now. And then the other girl will walk past you now. <laughs> Look, sorry. Can we just comment on this outfit? This is so 2000s fashion. Will... You've got a tiny hot pink top with sleeves that literally cut off at the shoulder <laughs> you've got all the jingly bangles you've got big hoops and a huge necklace and a say something belt very very 2000s what past you now <laughs> i can tell you if i if these girls were in school and i was also in school at the same time i probably would have had negative interactions with these girls so you know i'm gonna have to be that back shoulders back and walk with seven of the nine aspiring beauty queens having had a brush with the law, Michelle has seven her work nine. cut out. Goodness. On the one hand, while several of these girls have a little bit of an unfortunate story to tell, that's all the more powerful at the Miss Teen International level, that, that we can take them from something unfortunate in their lives to right now I'm ready to be a role model for others, and this okay. is my mission. The girls' first challenge is to present themselves in their most glamorous outfits. But what do they define as glamour? Yes. Well, this is it, isn't it? Oh, not the Sex in the City theme tune. I'll get clocked for copyright. Some leather-type jeans and that, you know. Tight jeans to show tight bottom. And the leather. You're not ready, girls. Gales. Trackies. More trackies. Baggy T-shirts. Body jumper. 
Oh, got some dungarees here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they're all right, then. Oh, they're not yeah. too dressy. That's what I mean. I need something dressy in it. That's all we've got. Oh, well, Trini and Susanna would Five be pleased. Goals. So, I've got no luck for tomorrow, but... One of my mates will come to my rescue. Oh, it's so British. Yeah. Look at that. There's a PlayStation 2 with silver controllers. If this is her bedroom. Oh, interesting. Look at that old TV as well. Silver to match the PS2. Oh. That's my other. One of my mates will come to my rescue. Yeah, my style icon is Victoria Beckham because she do not wear nothing cheap, does she? I would say Colleen, but she shops at Primark. And stick to a dress. Clock. Stick to a dress. Yeah. Well, they look nice, Sam, don't they? They look such a unit. I quite like the black one, so I'd go for the black one if I was you. So I'm yes, saying, always you wear, wear black. You've got brown top. You have to look glam, wear black. You've got bare heels anyway. That would look nice with some white, wet no black pick, wickle pickers or something, isn't it? That is some <laughs> Missy Elliott crip shit, isn't it? <laughs> Dorsey. Oh, fashion. We're going to see some sights, aren't we? We're going to see some sights. Come on, girlies, what have you got? Oh, look, Asbo. The next day, as the girls arrive, it's clear they've Ooh. interpreted the challenge to glam up in their own unique ways. Right. Sarah's Ooh. sober black dress is too subdued for a glitzy pageant. Is it? Yes, but well, they're Eleanor's not going to a pageant, are they? Definitely isn't chic enough for Chicago. Oh dear, does this man think he's someone? Trini before the transition. Oh my God. Ashley hasn't been in trouble with the law, but this outfit really won't please the pageant police. And Laura's oh. tracksuit bottoms and hoodie won't work out. Oh, And the rest iconic. of the girls <laughs> have fared no better. Right. Okay, the sovereigns. Oh no, is the, is the lip piercing just a no-no? Hey girls. Hello. Goodness me. How Her did we do last gravity. night? Let me see. We have some good results. Some of oh, you put effort into this morning. Some more than others. Spiffy tracksuit, right? And I appreciate the effort, but you know what? We have a little bit of work to do to really get that beauty queen look. I just so. love the fact they're in some like community center. Like, what? Is it because they were like trying to be like in the community or something and to really show where these girls are from? Like the local community center. Do we even have community centers anymore? I feel like the Tories have just gone, no, do you know what? No more community for you. <laughs> Which poses quite a challenge for Rishi Sunak, who is the fifth Conservative Prime Minister this decade. Right, at the community centre. Work to do to really get that beauty You better work, bitch. So, come on, come with me. Oh, what's going to happen? Michelle's laid on a limo to whisk oh! the girls to their next destination oh, and the next stage me. of their training. Imagine. In just six weeks, one of them Champagne. will be called Miss Teen they all old enough? I guess maybe they are. A paragon of gentility and grace. Right. Hello. Oh, shit. Realising the enormity of the task, Michelle's wheeled out the big guns in personal presentation. Renowned makeup artist Ruby Hammer oh. and award-winning hairstylist Beverly C. They'll Beverly. show the girls how to get the beauty queen look. OK, girls, as you know... Right, I've got to say, I probably am right in saying this, but I would assume that none of those girls have ever been in a beauty studio before. So the idea of going from your, like, community centre into a limousine, into a beauty studio space with like two professional industry, professional professionals is probably going to really set in exactly what they're doing. Like imagine you're on the street going, <laughs> you, I'm gonna mug your mum. And then you're just like told to put on something glamorous that you think is glamorous. You're, you're, you're then in a community center and then suddenly in a limousine going into like a big glamour studio. Like you would feel so like, <laughs> Even now, I think I would still feel a little bit like, uh, and I'm not an Asbo teen. Are you sure? This week's challenge is to look like a beauty queen. Right. But to be fair, we need to teach you how to do this, right? Yes. Okay. Good. So gratefully, we've got two of Britain's very best in the business to help us do this. You need to play really close. Ruby Hammer is such a great name. It almost sounds like an anime villain. Business to help us do this. You need to pay really close attention to this process. Oh my gosh, she looks a bit like my first ex-girlfriend. <laughs> oh dear. You need to pay really close attention to this process because in just 48 hours time, you're going to need to completely recreate it 
Okay. All on your own. Right, but is this the Ruby task? before and Beverly get to grips with the girls, Michelle wants each girl to be individually... I'm sorry, look at, look at those side profiles. They've all got such, like, gorgeous features. They're not going to have a problem turning into beauty queens. Obsessed. 18-year-old Rachel's first in line for a constructive critique. <laughs> oh, bring what out Trini! What you need to be going for? Um, yes, to go out here, fantastic. Great personal style. Mm. But it is a nice got, personal yeah. style, isn't it? <laughs> you've got to adopt teen queen style now, and maybe your little piercing's got to go. We need to work on our confidence, because she bites her lip and, and hides them and all the time. Yeah, your, body, you that you your body language is saying that you're really not comfortable in your own skin, yeah. right? Which now, probably, you, you she is probably a bit nervous being thrust into this situation, I can understand that, but like, cause she's committed burglary before, so this should be fine, right? You'd think she's very confident. Yes, I'm a very confident burglar. <laughs> No, I can't say that. One that I saw yesterday and I thought, you know what? She has no idea how stunning she is. Yeah, look, and, look at that side profile. Um, I'm really anxious to see what Beverly and, and Ruby have in store for you because I think you're just going to be quite shocked when you see the finished product and how, now, the how gorgeous you are. How about you, <laughs> Pavia? Come up here and join me. Pavia. Pavia? Pavia? I think overall her look that she's created for herself today mm -hmm. is far too day. It's very dressed down, isn't it? Yeah. It's certainly not the level that you, you'd need to do for a pageant, so we need to I walk think you, the end. You're going to need to step it up a little. Make sure you're really polished and groomed. Laura, why don't you go ahead and join me up here with the experts? Okay. Oh. Okay. Do you want them to go ahead and, and evaluate your overall look from where you are? I'm curious as to what you're doing here then, <laughs> lady. <laughs> Do you want to go to America to be the last three? You do. Because if you do, we're here, actually here to help you create the look to get you to that level of going over to Chicago. Oh, dear. Okay. Come on, we're here to help you. Come up. Oh, dear. It's definitely one of those things of... I think the reality of what she thinks is glamorous is kind of setting in a little bit because... Oh! I think they're going to be a bit harsh. Although, you know, they've been lovely so far. They haven't been... Awful to me, there's been no personal insults. There's no like, oh, you need 18 liters of liposuction. Why aren't you making it to the pageant? Which seems to be the only experience we have with pageantry here on the Chanel is like, oh my goodness, change everything about you. Girls. Look at you, yay! yay! Pixelation. I think when we first met all the girls this morning, uh, they did find it very difficult to sort of Beverly C, and... the C stands for and sort of work with us and they felt that we were going to be you know attacking them and, and trying to change them as people and we're not there was you know a few brick walls up there this morning I love wearing tracksuits that's what I relax in I have comfort you don't have to worry about your figure nothing but you're not going to win this pageant if you if you go in your tracksuit imagine suits. imagine Easy. turning on stage being like and here we have the glamorous evening wear and it's just like the most metallic sequin tracksuit you've ever seen like I don't know, I can kind of get behind that. Things or rings or tattoos or anything like that. You what? Have to take rings or tattoos or anything like that. You have to take I them think off. Tattoos are glamorous. You can't take it's off tattoos. Get a grip. Then each of them receives expert advice to accentuate their assets. Later. That is the ugliest shoe. What is that? An electric metallic orange braid on a jelly shoe imitation front with a three-inch yellow ochre heel. Beautiful. Disgusting. <laughs> Their beauty pageant looks will be revealed to them for the first time. Ooh. Oh, there you go. <laughs> That's a start. The rest, will, the rest will have to go. In the meantime, 18-year-old Sarah isn't impressing hairstylist Beverly. Why? A couple of the girls have turned up today with very sort of greasy hair. You have today as well. You've got a bit greasy hair there, I can say, going on. Um, and they need to keep that really on top of that mm -hmm. as well. And Ruby doesn't think she's achieved a makeup masterpiece either. You almost look like a sort of an old painting, you know, because you're, you're, you're quite... It's not retro, but, you know, it's quite old-fashioned. And I think what we have to do is just... Kick in a little bit of modernity, you know, mm -hmm. keep, just make you a little bit more hip. I swear they need punch in there. What a weird critiques. Okay, I need to step back there because I think what Ruby is trying to say here is that she reminds you she's got very Renaissance features, which is 
True, I think she has that classic fair skin. She's got those very defined features. But I don't like the fact that Beverly's like, oh, you have turned up with greasy hair, haven't you? Yeah, greasy. Instead of giving her, I don't know, advice, she's just sort of gone, mm, you are greasy, aren't you? Greasy child. I do want to know how old everyone is here because I feel like I'm holding back some of my... What's the word? Some of my like usual quips I would make because if these people are under 18, I don't want to be seen to being like, oh, pop that puss, you know? <laughs> Absolutely not. I swear they need punch in there. Do you? I ain't no yeah, metal girl. What they're, they're trying gonna... to turn me into? I'm pale. Well, I know that anyway, but still, I don't care. She's got no right to say it when she's got about 10 layers of makeup on. Would you laugh and I'll say, yeah, you're dead brown, you're pretty, you'd be the next. She goes, are most of the girls have had like, greasy hair? Most of us? Yeah. She's cheeky, man. I washed mine this morning. <laughs> I also don't think that she... Does she have greasy hair? I don't... Do you think her hair is greasy? Greasy? I think maybe she might have used a bit too much product in it, or she might just have a hair type that's quite fine. Greasy? I don't, I don't know. She is one of the... Well, one of the Britain's best next top hairdressers, whatever they introduced her as. <laughs> Maybe she is correct. But even so, I feel like the word greasy is a little bit much. She could have said something like, I don't know, maybe we need to have a look at your hair care routine to make it as voluminous as possible. You don't have to be like, oh, you're greasy, aren't you? Yeah, grease. <laughs> she isn't even brushed. <laughs> said I look like an old portrait. I'm, I'm younger than them, so how, how they're the ones that are the old portraits. They're the, the model's 42 and she's trying to tell me stuff. She's the one that needs to go babysit her grandkids. The makeup. <laughs> I think that information was delivered in a very negative way because they could have made a comment a bit more about like beautiful historical glamour rather than being like, oh, you do look a bit like an old portrait, don't you? Yeah, haunting this house. The makeover's in full swing, but pageant snip, snip. success is about more than just looking the part. Is it? Unfortunately, it's just, it's not enough to just dress like a beauty queen. It's not enough. You have to. You have to embrace the image and feel proud about it. Find a bit good clothes. Not enough things like that. And have the desire to want to present yourself well. Beauty queen needs to know what style is. That's what she needs to know. And I will say there is something a bit like when you have streetwear and street fashion, there is something very eclectic about it. Very like busy and big and bold and there's strong patterns and difference in texture and difference in jewelry size. Beauty pageantry in this like day and age from 2006. Like if we look at what this model here is wearing, she's got like spaghetti straps and like watermelon print flowers. Like that's very small, if you know what I mean? Like very understated. I actually like really bold, impactful things. So I, could, I guess you could describe my style sort of almost akin to streetwear. I would describe my style as like techwear goth CEO with a little bit of hail Satan. But that's just me. Like I like small little straps like that. I don't. I personally, I don't like. You need to have a bit of something. Like something needs to be. Everything needs to be considered as to why it's there. And if it's there to perform a function, exaggerate that function. Make it a thick strap with buckles on to make you look tinier and more delicate in in comparison, like, I don't know. So yeah, I'd sort of understand the concept there of like, oh, I don't want like pretty faff, like faffy nonsense. No faff. That may be the biggest hurdle that we have. Yeah, pixelation. And those people need to know how to do hair. Dyeing it the same color as it was, that's not much of a change. Sarah's really got 100% convinced that we're not gonna change at all. Uh, she thinks that at the end of the day, once she looks in the mirror, she's gonna see the same Sarah that sort of woke up this morning um, and she's quite mistaken because we have changed her quite a bit. Okay, right. Let's see, I guess. I hope these hairstylists are professionals in different hair textures and types because it would be quite unfortunate if this girl with her specific hair texture was brought in and then never taught how to style it in a way that's like actually healthy for the hair. Let's hope, shall we? Oh, that looks like <laughs> Where are they that they're washing it out in a... I've been waiting all day. Is it in a hotel, maybe? You think if this was actually like a hairstylist's place, like a salon or something, they'd have like wash bowls, not just, uh, rinse it out in the shower, girl. Serve it up, bitch. Budget. I've been waiting all day to get paper on my head. Oh, dear. No, it's not funny. 
Oh, it is I very DIY. I thought win for doing this, so I took God. Do you think we will? No. What do you think a beauty queen looks like? Be Miss America. Beauty queen. Miss America. No. Britney Spears before she had a baby. Right. So if you represent Miss England, we're going to look at you and say, wow, she's, she's, she's the epitome of England. If I go, I swear, I'm going to tell Miss America to <laughs> shove pageant up her ass. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna say to her. That's amazing. I think you stand a very good chance, sweetheart. Your diplomacy is amazing. <laughs> the girls know that tomorrow they'll be judged on their skill in recreating the pageant look. Competitions hotting up, and Pavia's appraising her rival, Ellen. As Ellen's the shyest of the bunch, Laura springs to her defence. You're not special, are you? I will say what the f I want. You know, I'm just saying it's time. Oh, is there drama already? What was this situation? I just completely glazed over then. Let's watch it again. Competition's hotting up. The competition's hotting up. appraising her rival, Ellen. Dog rough. Dog rough. Oh, no. As Ellen's the shyest of the bunch, Laura springs to her She defense. actually looks a little bit like Lily Cole. You could see her on skins. You could see her on a runway. I don't know. I think there's some high fashion beauty perhaps there. We haven't met Ellen yet though, have we? We don't know who she is. I guess we are, we've got nine girls and we haven't met Ellen, Nisha. Um, who else haven't we met? Kerry, I don't think we've met Kerry. Interesting, okay. As Ellen's the shyest of the bunch, Laura springs to her defense. Okay, so a bit of camaraderie. Well, not special, are you? I will say what the I want, I'm just saying it's tight because I think it is tight. Please believe me, I do not give a I am not getting told what the and what I can say by anybody. I'll say what I want. Oh, you need to sort your head out. Pavia, she could slag in any. She could, she probably is slagging me off me behind my back even before this happened. Yeah, because she's saying things about the girl. Can't be asked arguing with her anyway. She comes. Ooh, her hair's so much shorter. As the argument subsides, the makeover oh process is reaching a crescendo. Right. However, the girls need to have paid attention to the experts because in 48 hours they have to recreate the look all on their own. Okay. Michelle, Beverly and Ruby have worked their magic, but since the girls are still a little sceptical about pageant style, they won't be allowed to see their new look until the makeover's complete. Okay. I can't wait to see myself in there now. It's going to be weird. I don't usually wear dresses, so... We're really excited to see what the hair looks like, because I've had a lot cut off it. I'm scared because I'm scared because I don't know what my hair's going to look like. Oh, wow, there's quite some well, dramatic well, changes. But I'm excited anyway. So you best on the open shores. Oh! Okay, Rachel oh, right, here we go. Rachel for the mean streets. Right, Rachel. The panel have tamed her tresses and turned up the glamour. Have they tamed her tresses? I don't know. I'd... I feel like this hairstyle has kind of aged her a little bit. Tames her tresses. Love a sequin dress. Glamour. Yes. Sarah was relaxed in right. denim, but her hair was very uptight. The experts have given her the Ooh. full pageant look. The experts have given her the full pageant look. I think she's been done a bit dirty here. 24 hours ago, Laura was a rough and tumble tomboy. We she's lost the tracksuits and the piercings, oh. and the panel have cut that's and coloured her hair. That's the best shot. That's not the best shot, surely. They could have taken, like, look, she's clearly just about to say something. Surely they could have picked a better picture. The piercings and the panel have cut and coloured her hair. OK, I do like that colour of dress. That's beautiful. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That is over there. What do you think? <laughs> oh my god, I look weird. <laughs> oh, I don't like what they've done with her eyeshadow. Did they really need to give her a purple and pink cut crease with nothing underneath the eye and no liner? <laughs> Did they need to? Mind you, this was 2006. Probably filmed in 2005, so I guess that would have been probably the best. Oh, look, again, myth lipstick. Oh my god, I look weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the other girls got the works too. Hair's been trimmed and teased, eyebrows have been plucked, and each girl's been styled to maximise her unique assets. So why haven't we met them? 
Oh my God, that is a Britain's next top model image. If ever I've seen one, girls. Why, why aren't we introduced to these girls? Have they just like not got the drama for the episode or something? Like why, why are we not meeting them? Budget cuts. Elena. Oh, oh no, she's gone from the streets to the office. Pageant hope Pageant. must be so thrilled. Okay. It's speechless. Yeah, oh, I like what they did with her hair. That like swish up. Wow. Different. Ooh. Yeah. Or maybe not. What are they why have they given her three hairstyles? <laughs> What's going on here? I feel like the stylists couldn't style this hair texture. Because why has she got like Lots of beautiful natural texture curls, sleek, and then like, I don't know where that's attached to. Mm, I think she's been done a bit dirty here, though I do love the gold and the blue together. <laughs> oh my God. I don't like anything. My hair, oh my God. I can't stand it, I hate it. I drew over my eyebrows and made them look really bushy. And I don't like it. Bushy eyebrows. Please with it. Don't like it. What have you done to me? I look like a barber. A barber gone wrong. I'm really disheartened because they all were had a lot of reservations, and it was a little bit hard to get positive feedback from them about the results. And that because you haven't taken any part of their style and incorporated it, unfortunately, you're trying to cut and paste Barbie pageantry onto British streetwear people. It just doesn't work. There needs to be a little bit of give and take, girlies. I still, at this point, I have no idea who's gonna win this season because there's just no front runner just yet. We are only 20 minutes in, so. Ooh. That discourages me. Okay. What do you not like about your hair? Everything. <laughs> I don't like oh, it at all. It's very layered. And can you find anything that you do like? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I really hate to admit this, to say this out loud, but I, I have, very low expectations for the results on Friday. <gasps> I, and the reason I feel that way is because I just don't, I didn't see any of these girls really embracing the look. So it's because all the how looks can they are be a bit motivated naff, to recreate But a look they are they very of like. its time. So if one of them comes in. If I went into something like this as a teenager, so as a teenager, I had hot pink hair and I wore bright orange trousers and I had blue tops. I used to wear those like kind of gloomy bear hoodies. I was very MySpace, very club kid, very alternative fashion. If I came into this and they were like, we're gonna put you in a beige shimmery dress, I would have been like, oh, what is this? You know, like definitely. And truly looking like a beauty queen, I will be very pleasantly surprised. Mm, mm, mm. This is the Miss Teen International Pageant in Chicago, USA. Okay. These American girls Gosh. have been preparing for years to compete well, that's for the it coveted as well, isn't it? It's also, it's However, like they're just fully weeks, embraced in the culture of pageantry. One of mischievous Manchester maidens will become the first Miss Teen England International and challenge them for the title. How old are they though? I want, to, I want their name and Former like how old Mrs. they are. Former Mrs. International Michelle Fryatt is mentoring the girls. Right. The their girdles. first challenge was to look like a beauty queen. queen. Michelle invited two experts to give the girls the pageant look. Pageant. But now they have to recreate it on their own. Miles of transformation to go. You can't just wake up every day and get chin filler. Right, here we go. What's this? The Old girls Trafford. have been given £100 to help them dress like a beauty queen. £100! The that... dresses are long, classic and modest. And with tomorrow's crucial test... But £100 have gone very far. I guess you could have gone into, like, Debenhams and gone, like, prom dresses, I guess. I'm never shopping in BHS again! £100 in 2006 or 2005. £100 in 2005 to spend on a single outfit. I guess that probably would have gone quite far, actually. Booming. On the high They'll street, need to yeah. bear this in mind as they hit the shops. As they well, hit the streets. This is the first time I've ever bought a dress. So I think we'll get a nice outfit, some shoes and some accessories to go with it. Yes. Competitive Great Kerry choice. is ready to use all her assets to win. I'll we'll need a long dress, basically like I had on yesterday. Something that'll show my legs, but not too much. Um, a midi I'll dress. Go about, I'll go all around um, until I found something. While Kerry's competing with the other girls, Eleanor's competing with the judges. The dress they picked for me yesterday was granified 
and it was disgusting. So I'm going to find one that's nice for me <laughs> to prove that I could dress better than them. OK. All right. Nothing nice else that's nice. <laughs> oh, I'm here. Oh. I'm buying a dress. Don't like what is this? A... Is this the music they use in Snog Marry a Void, isn't it? Nobody wanted to marry you. I'm buying a dress. Don't let me buy nothing else apart from a dress. I'm looking for a dress. A nice dress up dress. If you're not a dress up dress. A dress up dress, <laughs> nice. yes. Because you've got the badge as well at the back and everything else. Oh, that's not pageant. England! The girls were harsh critics of Michelle's makeover. Okay. So are they still unconvinced by the pageant look? Pageant! Yeah. Disgusting. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. Disgusting! Yeah. What kind of people wear this? My nana wouldn't even wear that. Laura. Do you know though, streetwear is so specific and I actually can't go onto the high street and find clothes that I would want to wear. Very, very rarely. Anyone that has any amount of like style that's perhaps not in the mainstream. I would argue that although streetwear has specific uh, impact in the mainstream, I don't think most mainstream has impact in streetwear. It's all about like textures, boldness, drama. And like, if you go into H&M and you see a beige corduroy dungaree dress with brown buttons, like that's not edge. There's no edge to it. So I can sort of see what all the girls are saying here, but I, I wouldn't use the word, maybe I would use the word disgusting. I do use the word hateful quite often. Huh, so you're a liar. Laura, however, has left her hoodie behind oh, her hoodie. heading for the heels. Oh, Ooh, hoodie amazing. and heels. Stilettos in the snow. Yeah. I couldn't really tell how Laura felt at the reveal. She seemed not so negative, but I didn't really see a whole lot of positive there either. She was, I think she was somewhere neutral, which was really a good sign to me that she was at least giving it a chance. It is interesting that they've just pushed these styles onto these girls rather than been like, here is a selection of three dresses, pick your favorite and tell us why. And then that way you can kind of evolve into a beauty queen. I don't know, I feel like the most memorable like pageant winners have something a little bit odd about them, a little bit different. And that's usually quite celebrated then. They're not all exactly the same. Really curious to see what kind of effort she makes towards recreating it. Ooh. Check this sucks. Oh! <laughs> mm. Well, I think Laura entering dress. the pageant means a lot to her. I think she pageant. thinks now that she can actually prove to people that she... Can win a pageant. ...can do something and follow it through. The pageant. And show that she can behave and be responsible. And be the only one at the pageant. Oh dear, what's happened? Meanwhile, with <gasps> old makeup challenge looming, Pavia's getting... Oh, the days before you could actually get good makeup in the high street. Look at that. That will have one gram of pigment per million kilos of product. And slay. Meanwhile, with the next challenge looming, Pavia's getting some oh. makeup practice at home. Oh, they made me look the... like clown eyes yesterday. They put about this much of them. It's all up here. Mad stuff about this oh. much. It is lots Back of in the, this This is how it was done. Give us some more. Give us some more. Ugh. Minging. It's that drawing. Minging! Oh my god! I haven't heard that word in years. Plastic surgery and there's marking off where they wanted to do it for me. Turn me into a drag queen, then, not a beauty queen. I would not even dare step out of the house dressed like that. I was quite. <laughs> shocked almost at Pavia's reaction <gasps> because I think she looked the least dramatically different. They really just enhanced the beauty that's already there, oh. but yet she acted like it was such a dramatic difference and that it was all negative, and I was really, really surprised by that. I know what I like and I know what, what I'm about. I wanted to kick her in that. Kick her in the but head. Oh, well, let's not do that. ...in store tomorrow, when the girls tomorrow. unveil their interpretation tomorrow. of the pageant look. Padger. <laughs> Gonna get cancelled by the Manchester folk. Oh, Britain, always raining, even when it's not. With so much riding on today's challenge, a new accused Laura is up early and stealing herself for the trial ahead. Oh, they had to get a pun in there, didn't they? Stealing herself, she's stealing thief for the pageant ahead. Oh, I do think I'm trying my best on this. So I'd be gutted if I didn't get through. Cause oh yes, of course, eliminazione. You know, I went for it, if you know what I mean. Who will be America's next no, hot I'm asbo? Not, I'm not feeling big-headed, but I'm feeling 
Not not like unconfident and feeling. Confident? I'm all right. Byron, I'd be devastated. Nah, I'd be gutted, yeah. Oh, who's going to win? Oh. Thing, so. Why what am I so I invested? This is a, such an obscene oh, wow. show. The girls are like, fake. they've literally just gone into their bedrooms. Like, she's got a she's got a tiny little ca uh, bottle here of, like, Glenn's vodka. If anyone's drunk Glenn's, it's literally like, uh, petrol. What, what a girl. But while the other girls are facing the day with trepidation, Sarah's facing the day with a hangover oh, after dear. a late night party. Okay, oh and dear. Someone called Jesus in the living room. And someone called Eddie in my bed. <gasps> Feeling miserable. Because I'm tired. I want to get out. I find so much to go sleep. I'm going to be like this all day if I don't. I haven't even learned anything from the experts because I don't like their advice. But she told us to recreate that look, and I'm not recreating something that looks gay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the word gay was used as an insult for so long, but sure. Something that looks gay. No say, we don't say that anymore now, no say. Today, the girls have to prove whether they can recreate the beauty queen look themselves. Ooh. Possessed they bags. The beauty queen look oh no! Someone was wafting them. Look, this, these bags here. I was like, possession. They can recreate the beauty queen look themselves. Possessed. By the day's end, one of them will have been eliminated. Right. Okay. Hey girls, how was the shopping? Good. We where is this? Your... Where, where, where has mirrors set up like this? That's just in Manchester. Unless they've rented a salon, maybe. They're outside the other day, from one look to the other. And I really want you to start trying to embrace that new self-image of yourself. Maybe it's a dressing room. Because as you know, as a beauty queen, you're making appearances all the time. Yes. And you, sometimes you don't have much time at all to get yourselves ready. So now we're going to give you 45 minutes. Oh. So I want you to get all glammed up. Glam, glam, glam. Remember, glam as you can. Everybody glam, glam, glam. I was I dead on the floor. <laughs> Yay. Okay, so girls, I will see you all super glammed in 45 minutes. Here we go. Right now, I have absolutely zero zilch, nada, no confidence that they're going to be able to pull this off. Okay, so how do you judge if everyone does terribly? I'm pleasantly surprised, but I'm pretty skeptical. He's burning me, burnt me in my face, burnt my hand. I feel like just punching that world in to make me feel better. Yeah, I forgot to bring my makeup, but I only had, I only had shit stuff anyway. I went to buy mascara and it was £20. Oh, £20 for a pound pound mascara. They must be mad. Sarah's not the most or doesn't come across as the most confident in her sort of self. And I think she needs to realise, yes, learn the techniques, grab them, try to recreate them, but also bolster up your own confidence. <laughs> no one can do that. It's got to come from inside. Yes, but that comes over time, I would say. I am curling my eyelashes to make them longer and flicker. Since the start of the challenge, Ruby's noticed a radical transformation in reluctant beauty queen, Laura. Ev Everything about her was saying a big no, and she looked amazing. And Ooh. I just, I just want to see now, can she pull it off herself? Can she pull it off, girls? You know, no. things and things like she that. She can't. Well, how will she pull it off? And how? I'm just curious to see that. Pageant. No, it's everything's just going wrong at the moment. It's not going wrong at the start. Are they even? No. Not yet, anyway. They all seemed a bit despondent. I don't know if they're shell shocked or if they're just overwhelmed or if it's just an impossible. It is quite thing overwhelming. The, the glam look going, but they all looked. Don't a show me someone's thong. What is that? What a horrible television shot was that? No, we're not having that. No. I would say scared to death. That might be the most accurate way to describe it. Reminds so me of a When I left life. the room, they revived themselves a little Pageant. bit and and got to work. Right. Why haven't we met half these girls? Like, we haven't really heard anything about Nisha yet. Oh dear, Ooh, fade to black. I think everyone's tried the best to try and recreate the looks that they've done yesterday, which was a mess. Oh dear. The makeup, trying to basically get back to the makeup like they did was a bit hard. I think if I'm more practice, I think I'll get a lot better at it. It's yes. better than what they put on me, because that was just granified. And them granny shoes, what the f Oh dear. A lot of what I think I'm going to be looking for is 
attitudinally. The idea is to to have that whole mindset shift. Oh, so Fire. I'll be really I'm really anxious about so today much smoking to see in this episode. These girls have applied what they were shown, not just physically, but from the inside as well. Okay. Our nine girls are about to learn their fate from Michelle. So who succeeded in this week's challenge? That who... girl looks, Ellen looks so much like Lily Cole. Every time I see her, I'm like, oh, is it Lily? Is this, uh, is this how she was discovered? No. Just failed to recreate the beauty queen look. Right, okay. First to confront the judges is 18 year old Rachel. 18, right, tell us all their ages, please. Thank you. 18. Well, they gave her a black dress. Hi, Rachel. Let's More go ahead eyeshadow. And, and have a look at you after you went through the makeover. Wow. Wow. <laughs> did you feel good in that dress? Did you like how that dress looked at on you? At first, it didn't feel really comfortable at first, but as I got used to it, I kind of enjoyed it. I, feel, I felt nice in it. That dress was quite a dramatic dress, but um, you haven't tried to recreate that makeup. You've gone for a more softer, feminine look with this, and I think it works. How do you feel about the way that you look today? I'm quite proud of myself, actually. Okay. I look more like a beauty queen. You do look more like a beauty queen. Oh, positive feedback. Okay. Right, come on, Laura girls. Let's see a picture of you after you. She's the one with the over. asbo. That's amazing. What a difference. Mm. And you actually look very close today. I tried my best to like try and get it you know, the same like the makeup and the. Yeah, I think you've done a really good job. Yeah, I think copying with that, what she had at her disposal and a hundred pounds, to very good. Much, did you? you didn't wear. Wow. I personally am very impressed with Laura mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. she's um, made some sacrifices and really took it on the chin and gone with it. Up, a lot though. of acceptance with what we needed to do. Good job. Oh dear. Okay. Oh, we haven't even really spoken to Ashley at all. That colour is gorgeous. Okay. You are young and we have to keep the useful element, but. It doesn't look like you've got anything on your face now. And I think that's going to let you down. Oh, a bit of powder like just to take the shine away, because you're shining like a beacon here. And you're going to have to brush those skills up. If you choose to not... It's so funny how trend happens, because now it's like, oh, be a shiny, glossy beacon of light, girls. But then they were like, Matt, Matt only. Matt or death. To not engage in that part, then then you you aren't coming up to your full potential. Oh, is she not engaging with the makeup? Is that what the problem is? OK. Come on, Keza! What do you think about that picture? A lot more glamorous and ladylike anyway. But look a lot better, a lot better. You've done quite well with your hair, I have to say. You've got a nice movement in, in it and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, all I would say is try and keep a little bit more volume at the top because, yes. again, it makes you look a little taller. Yes. And it just balances just a little better. Right. But, yeah, well done. OK, the judgment is being passed. Interesting. It's interesting how the judges are all sitting together as well. It's not like a panel. They're just descending the staircase next to a TV and spotlight with two, three women sitting on chairs. <laughs> Reminds me a little bit of like Pete Burns PA because in Pete Burns PA they were also sitting down and looking up. And I don't feel like we ever now see judges like sitting down and looking up. It's always like sitting down and looking down at someone because obviously it gives a more like air of authority. <laughs> Alright, come on Nisha. Congratulations on your choice of dress. I have to say it's probably the the best choice. That is um, a lovely colour. She's kept it very graceful, just a little thing. It's very tasteful. I love it. <laughs> because you listened to what we said and kept it very simple. You should feel good. OK, her hair was completely different, though, but I actually really liked what she did with her own hair as opposed to what the stylists did. I don't know what was going on there. Right, here we go. Sarah! Why have we not been told any of the other girls' ages? Is it because they're all under 18? Do we think that? That's probably the case, isn't it? All right, here we go. Come on. Can I ask you a question? And I really want a direct answer from you. Did you wash your hair this morning? Last night. I saw you from like 20 feet away this morning and I could tell instantly you didn't wash your hair today. So um, I'm not surprised you couldn't do anything with your hair. You should have put a little bit more effort and, and you should wash your hair. That's all they had to say to her? I, f I feel quite sorry for that girl. Like, I don't, I know like she's the problem, she's had problematic behavior. Oh, she belongs to the streets, girls. 
But like still, I don't know, it still feels awkward to see someone be like, oh, you are greasy though, aren't you? Yeah. Elena! Oh. You've done very well with the hair, I have to say. I would have liked to have seen you in a longer dress, though. I would try to quite a few dresses on, but this one just looked nicer on me than the others. It's just not a pageant look. I think it needs to be a little more covered up and, and the length a little bit longer. OK. Oh, look, Lily, th this is a model. I'm sorry. It's a dress that it's kind of like the ones that they've put on there. It's kind of flowing. It's perhaps even more flattering to you. It's right. a lovely colour. But I noticed today you have on no makeup have at all. Have got anything on? Is that? Nothing at all. I believe in inner beauty, so it doesn't matter if we've got makeup on or not. I'm still beautiful in my own way. We just need to remember what... Beautiful, beautiful stance, but you you can't go very far in a pageant competition if you haven't got a bit of something on, you know, a bit of lip gloss. Our objective is, is to look like a beauty queen. You won't get anywhere if you skip that step. Well, we applaud you on the dress, but we just, we do need to work on the makeup. Pavia. Pavia? Well, let's see how you looked after you were in the hands of the experts. Okay. Don't like that look. You don't like that look. It's fair enough if you didn't like what we've done to you, but but to just see that it was a steer to tell you, look, you would have to have some makeup. You'd have to choose whether that's too much or too little. Hair-wise, I think you've done very well, actually. I'm going to commend right. you on that. <laughs> you definitely have more of the look of a beauty queen now than you did at the beginning of the week. True. Well, we will see you later on this evening. OK. All nine girls have been assessed, but before they learn their fate, there's a last-minute shock. Pavia's decided that she won't be attending the elimination. Instead, she's opted to go to a school leaving party. Oh, she's I'm going to prom. I'm disappointed to hear that you're going to have to cut out early. You know, I had really, you know, really high hopes for you this week. Just going forward, just be, you know, make a commitment and stick to it. And if you if you knew about this in advance, then then we have to respect that. Not like I'm just saying, right, well, I can't be bothered today because I, I can I would stay, but it's just my leavers do. It's really important. I'll look at all of the all of the issues, but just but just know that it's not it's not in your favor. Make mm -hmm. your choice, and then we'll we'll just go from there. Ooh, gagarooni girls. Okay. Oh, see, oh, oh, oh! I never went to my leavers do though, but I can also understand it's quite important. You know, it's it's a similar it's a similar idea to like prom in America. Imagine missing prom, but then I guess you are on TV, so oh, I don't know. It's not tense, but it's a bit wobbly. We're not really we're bothered about it, but we're not really bothered. It's just it's not we're cool not to be bothered. A bit. Oh no! It's is it Britain you? is very like. If we say something is good, we'll say it's not bad. And that's all you really need to know about British culture. We're never like, oh my God, yes, queen. We're like, it's not bad. We still want to use a negative word. So she's just said there, we're not not bothered, which means she still gets to use a negative by saying not bothered, not bothered about the outcome. But actually she's feeling a bit nervous because you know, she wants to make it through. So that's all you need to know about British culture. We're very like, we'll use a negative word to explain a positive situation that is also as we see negative still. It's not good to be seen speaking too positively about things. You, is it me, is it her, is it you? You don't know. We're all dressed nice and everything. And I'll try our best. We had a yumpers day. Have we got it if it go, but I'm buzzing if someone else goes. Not I think them, what they I think they don't want any like. stubborn attitudes. The do panel they? set the nine pageant hopefuls a challenge of dressing like a beauty queen. Having assessed their efforts, they have to decide which girl to eliminate. How do you not wash your hair? It's not like she had extensions, but easy. Right it's there, it's better. very evident and she looks great, but she actually doesn't really believe it. It's a shame. She had on no makeup except for her mascara. Well, I have a problem with her, is her attitude. Mm, well, that, that says a lot. Make me have to question her commitment a little bit. Mm. I think she thrives on negativity. I think, if anything, she needs to, to believe in herself a bit more. The beauty is not just, you know, on the outside, it's inside as well. OK, so... Oh, what a, a deliberation that I was! OK, a bit like vicious. we're all on the same page. Yep. We're all pretty much in agreement about which yeah. way our decision's going to go. OK. Finally, it's Ooh, time to hear the panel's nah. verdict. Pavia's absconded, choosing to go to a party rather than attend party. the elimination. Hi, girls. Right, here we go. Well, as you know, this week's challenge was to look like a beauty queen. And some of you really embraced this challenge, 
and some of you did not. But tonight, one of you will be selected as this week's Teen Beauty Queen, and one of you will be asked to leave us. Oh, who's going Laura. to go? Laura, you did a wonderful job recreating the look. I think that you might have what it takes to be a teen beauty queen. Okay. So congratulations, you're going to move forward to next week. Ooh. Carrie, we want to compliment you on the total look that you achieved. I do believe that you might have what it takes. Elena. You might have. The dress selection was a little, was that a a little dodgy. It looked a little too clubby, not not really so glamorous and certainly not pageant appropriate. Pageant! With that said, I think you might have what it takes to be a teen beauty okay, queen. Okay, so that does mean they're going through. Okay, you might have what Actually, it takes you means, did, yes. You did a really good job with your hair. You might have what it takes. Okay. Rachel, your body language is something that you're going to have to improve on. With that said, you might oh. have what it takes. Congratulations, you're moving forward. Is this forward. the buzzword of the season? You might have what it takes, yeah. Nisha, you did a great job recreating- She's got blue in her hair, that's so pretty. A beauty, a beauty queen image. I do believe that you might have what it takes. <gasps> Ellen. Well, I hope we get introduced to her next week and learn a little bit more about her because we just didn't don't know anything about Nisha at all. Again. We really appreciated the selection that you made in your dress. Felt like you did a good job. Again, replicating what was chosen for you. Lily as Cole. Well as something that really compliments you. You might have what it okay. takes to be a team beauty maybe, queen. Maybe, a little bit, sort of, sometimes, perhaps. Possibly. Sarah, we were very disappointed in the total lack of effort that you put through with your makeup and with your hair. With that said, I think we're all aware that Pavia has already chosen to leave the challenge before we completed this evening. She has really let me down because I, I did have high hopes for her this week. With that said, the girl that is most unlikely to be a teen beauty queen is Sarah. What it really came down to for us as a judging panel was really your attitude. It just seemed that you weren't really up for this. You didn't really engage. You forgot to bring your makeup and, um, you know, it just kind of sent a message that you, weren't, that you weren't into the challenge. Thank you for being a part of the process. And you're now free to leave. Thank you. Oh dear. What a horrible eviction that was. Oh no. I want to be me. Be the way I am, the way I do my hair, the way I dress, no makeup. The day I knew that I was gonna go. While Sarah's dream Wow, of oh, goodness me. Okay, back into the limo and off she goes. But like, that was, okay, that was really, I've, I've still got a bit of a lump in my throat from that, actually. That was kind of difficult. I've, I've, I'm all nervous, I'm a bit shaken up, girls. Get a hold of yourself. I just feel like they were a bit cruel. Presenting England in the Miss Teen International pageant is over. One of the remaining girls is about to take a step closer. So Pavia well, the, made the it through, even though she wasn't here. Thought, Blonde. But after much deliberation, this week's teen beauty queen is... Electra Snow! Hello, hello, it's Electra Snow. Is Laura. <gasps> oh! What did she Thank get? <laughs> Laura. Well done, Laura you well win. Done. A crown! Oh my goodness! The swan goes. You? you get a brown lift. <laughs> I'll lose a track here. Oh yay! Happy okay. To be here. Okay. okay. <laughs> okay. We'll go ahead. Does this happen every week? Well, be sure well, to this is going to have a lot of flowers, aren't they? Well done, Laura. One girl down, eight to go. What and odd. it's only going to get tougher. You know what? I want to tell the whole group to step it up. They need to appreciate this opportunity they've been given because there are Step millions your wig of girls up. that would that would love Lily the Cole chance is to here. participate in in a challenge like this, and I really want to make them aware of what's before them. In the coming eyes, weeks, them it's up to Michelle to groom the girls for pageant success. Oh, don't success. say grooming. In five weeks' time, one of them will become the first ever Miss Teen England International. Oh goodness! Okay. But which one? Right. Oh! Oh no, 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 stop, no, stop, stop it, naughty! I've got some thoughts. Well, that was 
completely batshit insane, wasn't it? <laughs> what on earth have we just watched, my loves? I've just kicked you. Sorry, I do apologise. That Let's have some thoughts, shall we? Should we share some thoughts? I'm gonna say it's very interesting to watch a group of people who have technically done some things that are, like, not... Well, they've done things that have gotten them, like, the Asbo title, the Tearaway Teen title, like... They have had a troubled upbringing that's made them act out in certain ways that makes them particularly unlikable. Like, if I was on the receiving end of any what any of these girls have done, I would be like, no, they're awful, evil people. It's easier to say now in the future and looking as an outsider in to say like, oh, it's sad that they have to behave like that because of part of the culture that they're from, you know, the street culture, whatever it is. But another part of me is very much like you are, you know, you, you choose your fate, you choose your destiny, choose your own adventure. You don't have to rob people or burglarize people or cause criminal damage. You don't have to do that. So I do think there is an element of personal choice in it. And I think we can absolutely judge people for their personal choices. A hundred percent. Saying that, I do feel like on the whole, this was quite a positive episode when it came to how the girls were spoken to about their personal style, about how they dress themselves, about how they are perceived, I guess. The one I will be a little bit like, hmm, about is the fact that they kept telling Sarah that she was just so greasy. Like, oh, you're so greasy. What a greasy woman, greasy. I just feel, I don't know, I felt a little bit awkward watching that because of course, a young person who's perhaps a bit insecure, you know, they maybe do have a bit of baggage about certain things like that. They're not gonna be able to react in a positive way. So the idea that then they're like, well, it's their attitude, isn't it? It's her attitude, it's her attitude. Yeah, she's like that because she's got greasy hair. Yeah, but we did tell her she's got greasy hair. Yeah, her attitude. I just feel like it's a bit awkward to watch. Even though, may, like, uh, there had to have been a gentler way to say that. That wasn't just straight up insult, you know? To call someone greasy is an insult, in my opinion. If I was going to say, look at that greasy woman, it's not like, oh, look at that greasy woman. She's so greasy. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. But I am really excited to see how this season progresses because it does feel completely different to whatever we've watched here on the Chanel before. It does feel like production is having a hand in things, but it feels a bit subdued. We are gonna see a little bit more drama though, aren't we? Interesting that Pavia got to miss elimination, but still was kept through. And I think it's because she had that Barbie aesthetic. And I reckon at this time, this period of time, 2006, I mean, we're seeing a Barbie Renaissance right now. I think in 2006, in like pageant time in America, in teen, teenage American time, hello, Mr. Biscuit. I think it would have been very Barbie, don't you, Mr. Biscuit? Yeah, Barbie. So my loves, let me know what you think about what we've seen in this new chaotic series here on the Chanel, my loves in the comments box below and I'm gonna be very very excited to read the discourse about this because it's a bit wild and with that my lovelies it's time for the Patreons you can see yourself scrolling past on the screen right here my loves yes you can and Mr. Biscuit we have a bunch of new Patreons so I want to say a brand new hello and welcome to Lauren Vogt, Harpstring Moon, Richard, Shelley Van Allen, Dave Kazow, Hannah Byatt, Mindy Mack, Ari Adia X, Zachary Donaldson, Emilia W, Angels Cosplay Magic, Barbara Roman, Becky Johnson, and Violet Becky Bejoul, my love. Thank you so much for joining the Patreon and providing a little bit of extra support for this Chanel, my lovelies. If you would like to join the Patreon, click the little link in the description box below. It will explain all the tiers and the rewards and the such like. Yes, Mr. Biscuit, yes. And as always, I want to say a massive thank you to my top tier Patreons. Orko Samoji, Ari Adia X, Becky Johnson, Beebles32, Shell Herman, Christy Crownover, Christina Kyle, ContraPoints, Elizabeth Stone, Emily Worsham, Eric Castillo, Finn Dunham, Jen Martin, Caitlin Wright, Larry Lane, Leanne Jones, Les Banana, Min Min TM, Mariah Sherman, Miss Kiss, Noven Bricks, Paola Rivera, Ryan Vita, Steph Utech, The Chaos Collective, Vicky Walsh, and Victoria Carella. And you know what, my loves? I'm going to leave it on the notes of don't get an asbo. <laughs> Just don't bother. Don't do it. No, it's not worth it. No. You're such a good boy. He's a good boy. My little asbo child.